The JCB 540-200 has an operating weight of 13 tonnes and it has a maximum reach of 20 metres. This model of it by Motorart comes in a JCB branded box and on the back there's a picture of the real machine. But having said that, there's no other information about the JCB 540-200. Inside the box the model is packed in a pair of interlocking plastic formers and if we separate those we can lift the model out. Sadly on this occasion there's a little bit of a rattling noise and that means the parts come loose and there's a bit of a broken exhaust pipe. In fact also broken was the main cab mirror and so this is a job for our very good friend Sue Perglue. With the mirror stuck in position it's onto the exhaust pipe and although it's a little bit fiddly to stick these bits back on at least the broken parts weren't missing. Diving down under we can see that there's really very little detail to speak about. The rubber tyres have a good tread pattern and the stabiliser beams are simply pressed metal. However the cap detailing is good with plenty of detail including highlighted foot pedals. The mud flaps are made of soft plastic and they're a little bit flimsy but the graphics are nice and sharp. At first it looks like the rear light clusters should fold down but they were fixed on the review model. On the side the engine cover is plastic and we'll see more of that later. The telescopic sections are metal, although the yellow collars are a slightly different colour to the rest of the model. One other aspect is the tall mirror and light clusters, but you have to be a little bit careful because they look delicate. Now we're out with the JCB on the Cranes Etc test track. And it's not rolling quite so well because there seems to be an issue with the front axle. In fact the problem seems to be that although the other wheels spin freely, the front one on the review model seems to be jammed up, probably because of some poor gluing. Another bit of functionality that is working however is the steering. And although the angles are not generous, at least you can set an interesting pose. At the front there is a pair of stabiliser beams which can be lowered, but there's no resistance in the hydraulic rams so they won't hold the front axle off the ground. Moving on to the lifting and it suffers from a droopy boom which is not something anybody would want to suffer from. But at least that problem only seems to affect it at the low end because at the higher angles it can maintain a pose. The sections do telescope reasonably smoothly, although the sections at the end do seem noticeably short. As the real machine demonstrates you should be able to telescope out to the full length with a load at the end, in this case it looks like some bricks. And maybe there is the clue as to why the end sections on the model are a bit short. It looks like that it might be a modelling compromise in order to maintain the stability of the model. At the end of the boom the model is permanently configured with a pair of forks. They are metal and you can adjust the spacing or fold them right over. Another piece of functionality is that the fork carriage can be tilted and in that way it can be appropriately matched to the angle of the boom. There is one other feature on the model which is the opening engine cover, it's a plastic cover but it does stay open and there's a nicely detailed engine underneath. Let's now get the measuring tape out and see how high the model goes and it's one foot or 30 centimetres which shows it's a little bit short compared to the real machine. <music> This model from Motorart has its strengths and weaknesses. On the plus side it certainly looks good and it's detailed, but the build quality is not of the best standards and it's a little bit delicate. Also the functionality is a little bit of a mixed bag. But if you can accept those issues and want a good looking model then it's recommended. 